What's up guys, Ryan with Pewdiots here today. We're talking first focal plane versus second focal plane and the best way to explain that is just to show you a demo. So right here, I have the Strike Eagle from Vortex 5 to 25 by 56 scope, obviously not mounted on a firearm, uh, but this is to show you the difference. This is a first focal plane scope, meaning that as I zoom in, also the reticle is going to change size, but your holds are going to be consistent throughout. So as I do this, and I'm going to try to hold it still, but I might have to reposition the camera. So as I'm zooming in here, you can see, hold still, Ryan. You can see that reticle growing. Gosh, this is hard to do. You can see the reticle growing as I zoom all the way up to 25 power. That is a first focal plane optic. Now, second focal plane. The reticle is going to stay the same size the entire time. Uh, I'm going to have to move my camera up just a little bit. Maybe I need to go down a little bit. There we go. All right, so let me adjust this a little bit. So the reticle is going, I'll even turn on the illumination here so it's a little easier for you guys to see. Um, let me adjust that. I want to make it, it's got to be perfect, man. Let's see, if we scoot up a little bit, how are we looking? Looking good. All right, good enough for YouTube. Um, so this is second focal plane. So as you can see, it's almost like a red dot. This is the Vortex Strike Eagle 1 to 8 by 24. So uh, looking through it, it's non-magnified right now on 1x. And then as I start to increase the magnification, you will notice that reticle does not, come on, uh, stay still. I'm able to zoom in, which is totally screwing up on the camera, but the reticle itself, if you look at it, the reticle is not changing. And that's the point I'm trying to get across to you. That is a second focal plane. So if you're not all the way zoomed in and you're using, for example, the bullet drop on this reticle, which I know is very hard for you to see, uh, you're trying to use that, uh, it's going to be inaccurate. So it has to be all the way zoomed in in order for those, uh, the bullet drop to be uh, where it should be for the yardage you're trying to shoot. So that's the main difference in a first focal plane and a second focal plane, very crappily explained on my bench.